Southeast Asia is known for its cultural diversity and it's all reflected on their street cuisine. As the largest country in the Southeast Asia, Indonesia has a diverse range of street foods. Anywhere you go, on the corner of the street, in the alley, on the parking lot, you can find it. In fact, it has influenced the preparation methods and flavor profiles of the cuisines of some of its Southeast Asian neighbors. Similar to Malaysia and the Thai cuisine, Indonesian street fare is loaded with flavor. Being in the street, chances are you'll be living with a happy tummy or your favorite munchie hoka. Thank you. And this time, I'm going to take you to a restaurant that inspires to elevate Indonesian culinary heritage in 12 Point Dining. Let Simriti take you on the journey of the Old East Indies. Nestled in the Tanah Abang Timur area lies Simriti Jakarta a modern and thoughtful Indonesian restaurant and space for relieving that vivacity through the contemporary Indonesian cuisine. The restaurant may highlight some dishes originating from Sumatra and Java, but Chef Haru Indra, Samriti Jakarta head chef, cleverly puts an international twist on the classic recipes. I see veggies, I see lots of toppings, so what are we making today? We're going to make lumpia gado, actually. Wow, two different street food. Yup, lumpia wow. gado. Okay. So, this basically ya gado-gado. Makanan jalanan Jakarta yang terkenal banget. Bisa ditemukan di mana aja. Tapi kali ini di Semriti, karena konsepnya kita adalah modern, in, authentic Indonesian food, kita kombinasikan si gado-gado ini dengan teknik dari Vietnam lumpia Vietnamese roll, you know, right, yeah. that one. So, we replace the starving with gado-gado. It's very interesting, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of excited to try it, I guess. Okay, so, yeah. He used rice paper roll as the wrapper, a nod to Vietnamese spring rolls. Filling fresh veggies which you can find in any gado-gado. The spirit of gado gado is in the peanut pasta sauce. For gado gado, he uses peanuts and cashew for an earthy creaminess. The making of the dish is the same with making spring rolls. He wrap all the veggies and rolls them into a ground peanut for the texture. Challenging though, try to marry two different uh, cooking techniques. Uh, for the beginning, yeah, it's just pretty challenging because we need to like you know combine mm -hmm. um, technique from Vietnamese and then to with, with gado gado from Indonesia. But you know, because here we don't want to serve mm -hmm. food in the original version because you know people will compare it. And then we try to like you know the spirit to make something new, the newness, mm -hmm. bikin kita semangat. The result is a scrumptious roll that is light, fresh with a familiar taste. Chef Indra pays homage to the rendang for the main course, turning this famous meat dish from Padang West Sumatra into a steak with rendang sauce. U.S. beef short rib steak in rendang sauce served with eggplant and fried cassava, Jasper grilled instead of stewed. sauce is actually rendang and then we combine it with some um, brown sauce blend it until very smooth and then strain it but still has you know a very very intense rendang flavor right? that's true that's true and then even this sauce kalio sauce you know as you 
No, before we met rendang, you know, we start from coconut milk combined with some spices. Then you can call it um, gulai, right? Then you reduce it to half or a little bit thick, it becomes kaliyo. And then you, you continue the uh, reducing process, it becomes rendang. Oh, I see. So this is like a stages of exactly, rendang. Exactly, exactly. To refresh your palate, try the elegant clip-on cake. Not your average clip-on, Angi, the pastry chef, transformed the sweet snack that usually uses rice cake for the base, filled with molten palm sugar and shredded coconut. She uses pandan sponge instead, layered with palm sugar and shredded coconut, then coated with a fluffy whipped cream and a cat's tongue biscuit for decoration. This is coconut mousse. Yes, coconut mousse. Oh my mousse. god, the taste is exploding in your mouth. I'm not lying, like yeah, it is. It is, it is. And then the coconut mousse itself, we, we, we see, combine it with something that we cannot let you know. Ooh, secret. Yeah, I secret. That. I love secret. <laughs> But it's not a secret of how delicate this dessert is. Combined with crunchiness from the biscuit, you'll get all sorts of texture. It's like a gentle hug from your loved one. Hopefully when people come to here and then, you know, try our food, they don't get confused, you know. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. they order like six sauce rendang, they can like, you know, taste rendang. If they, they order lumpia gado, they still can taste the real gado gado and then even kelpon cake oh yeah I, I know this is kelpon yeah. tastes like kelpon you know it tastes like memory yes <laughs> food evokes memories good food brings a smile to your face and Samriti gets how food can be an emotional journey experiencing the taste of familiarity a posh fine dining experience can really broaden the palate on the richness of Indonesia's culinary heritage itself <laughs>